Hello friends, in this tutorial we will talk about C implementation of insertion sort. So before we talk about actual implementation, let's summarize the key ideas of insertion sort. So the loop invariant for the insertion sort is after J iteration, first J plus one elements in the will be in the sorted order. So from this we can say that after n minus one iterations all the n elements will be in the sorted order so this is related to number of iterations the second thing is in the each iteration ultimately we, we are supposed to make a choice so we will we'll give decision for first green element here right so first green element is corresponding to the key element for example in iteration one we will give decision for eight in iteration two we will give decision for six and so on so ultimately we are going to compare this key element with the very last element of the sorted list and if the key is greater than that particular last element then we will just add that particular key in the list otherwise what we will do we will put that particular element at the appropriate location in the existing list so this is the um, basic idea so and the important thing with respect to implementation is whenever we talk about this particular second case at that time we need to perform this shift right operation at least for one element so let's talk about the implementation part now so as you can see i have taken the same elements here okay and since number of elements are 10 hence exactly nine iterations are required so therefore this full uh, this variable j is going from one to nine okay and single element is anyway sorted so therefore we are starting the value of j from one not from zero okay so this is corresponding to number of iterations this outer follow okay now this is our setup right in the each iteration we are supposed to give decision for key so key is nothing but in the first iteration it will be eight in the second iteration it will be six in the third iteration it will be nine and so on so key is nothing but a of j right and in the each iteration uh, actually we are going to give decision for a of j so that means the remaining elements the remaining elements will be from zero to j minus one so this elements are already in sorted order and ultimately we are supposed to compare the last element which is nothing but a of j minus one with the key so therefore we are uh, we are giving we are assigning i is equal to j minus one so that ultimately we can compare this two so here a of i is corresponding to a of j minus one which is nothing but the largest element the maximum element from the sorted sequence and key is nothing but the new element for which we are supposed to give the decision we are supposed to put key at the appropriate location right so this is all about the setup and this particular condition you already know now why this condition i greater than or equal to zero this is because ultimately it may happen that our key value is the minimum value of the list right so in that particular case somewhere we have to stop and put that particular key value at the very first location so therefore this is the stopping criteria right so so let's take this example then you will be able to understand so in iteration one in iteration two ultimately we, we are supposed to give decision for six so first we'll compare six with eight uh, then we'll compare six with seven and now we need to stop right so that is the stopping criteria here okay and now this you already know if this condition is true right if a of i is uh, greater than key that means the last element of the sorted sequence is greater than key so in other words key is less than this a of i in this particular case we are supposed to put key at the appropriate location so we are sure that for the last element the last element will be shifted one right so therefore what we are doing a of i plus one is equal to a of i and now we will continue our comparison with respect to previous element second last element of the sorted sequence and so on and the last statement a of i plus one is equal to k this will put a key at appropriate location so this particular statement will put key at the appropriate location in both the cases whether a of i is greater than key or not so let's let's verify this so let's start with the first iteration the very first iteration value of key is 8 and value of a of i is 7 so now ultimately we are going to check this particular condition 
a of we will compare a of i with key so a of i is nothing but 7 because i is equal to 1 and key is nothing but 8 7 greater than 8 this particular condition is false so ultimately what we will do we will put key at the appropriate locations what is the appropriate location in this particular case a of i plus 1 value of i so initially value of i was 0 and now we are adding 1 here so a of 1 is equal to key key is nothing but 8 so ultimately 8 will be replaced by itself right so it's working in the case where value of key is greater than a of i now consider this second case so what will happen in this particular scenario now the new value of key is 6 and now a of i is corresponding to this 8 so now 8 greater than 6 this particular condition is 2 so ultimately we will sh shift 8 to one that location so now the input will be like uh, now the sequence will be like this 7 8 8 and now value of i will be decremented so now new value of i is 0 so ultimately we are going to compare uh, a of 0 which is nothing but 7 with 6 7 greater than 6 again this particular condition is 2 so now the, uh, since we know the key will appear before this particular element so we need to shift one right so what will happen the new input will, uh, new subsequence will be like this 7 7 8 and now i will be decremented so now the value of i will become minus 1 so now this particular condition is false so we will come out of this particular while loop and what we will do we will put key at appropriate location which is nothing but a of 0 plus 1 which is uh, nothing, a of, sorry a of um, minus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but a of 0 so at a of 0 we will put 6 right so this is working fine in both the cases irrespective of whether key is greater or less than the very last location or very last value of the sorted six value of the sorted six for loop will print this final for loop will print all the elements uh, so let's verify our code first so as you can see we are getting the correct answer but in order to understand this code in better manner what we can do we can print the intermediate result so after completion of each comparison let's print the intermediate result also so here as you can see uh, so this is corresponding to this while loop so first time we will enter into this particular loop where we talk about where value of key is 6 so ultimately 6 will be compared with 8 so therefore 8 is shifted one right then 6 is compared with 7 so therefore 7 is shifted one right and now since value of i is less than 0 we will stop and we will put a of 0 plus 1 is nothing but a of uh, sorry a of minus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but a of 0 and we will put at 6 at a of 0 so this first three iterations are correspond sub iterations are corresponding to this particular case where key is 6 right it's corresponding to iteration number 2 right and so on so ultimately we are getting the final correct answer okay